going on you guys this is madam and i'm coming back to you once again and this is from boss of and the boss of staff and the article is by zach lingley um lingley i apologize if i mispronounced their name but i will put their name down in the description as always um it says demarius hollins black man follows files lawsuit against ex-georgia cops Court hitting him in the face and kicking him in the head while he was handcuffed. Okay, um, this is the I guess update to it. Yes, and we're gonna jump right into it. It says in April of 2017, Atlanta area black man Demarius Hollins was pulled over by Gwyneth Gwyneth. County police in an incident that ended the way stories of cops pulling over black people often end. With a violent arrest and a black body being treated like a human piana, piata, I apologize if I mispronounced that word as well. Four years later, Holland's attorney have announced that the 22 year old is filing a lawsuit against the county that. Gwinnett Police Department, the former police chief, and two of the now former officers who were criminally charged in the use of force incident. Okay. Side note, Rihanna is doing her thing for real. I don't, I ain't getting no promotion for none of this, but I mean, I just got to give credit to the sister for, um, you know, trailblazing for real. Shout out to you, Riri. For real. Um, jumping right back into it. This is from Eleven Alive News, and I will post this also in the uh, description as well as the video of the actual incident of itself. Okay, you guys. So uh, hold tight for that. And uh, the article says, according to 11 Live, ex-officer Robin McDonald, who was seen on camera kicking Hollins in the head and pointing a gun at his head while he was already on the ground handcuffed, was convicted of aggravated assault, battery, and violating his oath of office. He was sentenced to 10 years probation. Okay. Ex Sergeant Michael Bon Giovanni, who took a plea deal and testified against McDonald after he was seen taking his firearm to Hollis Hollis Hollins face while his hands were up before his partner arrived, pleaded no contest to aggravated assault and battery and was sentenced to six months in a work release program in addition to 10 years probation. Both former officers were subsequently fired. And this is the video. I'm not going to show the video on here, um, but I will link it down in the description and I will give the credit to Ken Dilbert or Dillard. I apologize if I mispronounced their name. But I will give the credit to them, um, being as though they showed the video, okay? And you can go check that out. It is unclear why Hollins was pulled over and arrested in the first place, or what prompted uh, Bon Giovanni to hit him. Well, besides the fact that exiting, while, existing, excuse me, while black, often makes one a magnet for cops. Uh, fist, forearms, batons, boots, tasers, and bullets. But McDonald testified in court that he was told Bon Giovanni was in the middle of a fight with Hollins, that he didn't see Hollins was already handcuffed, and that he he was trying to pin him down with his foot not kick him in the face mcdonald apparently doesn't understand how video footage works because anyone with two eyes can see him walking towards the victim with plenty of time 
to see that he was clearly on the ground clearly handcuffed and clearly clearly not in the middle of a fight with anyone and more, most importantly clearly not a threat to his fellow officer okay continuing with the article it says also while bon giovanni was dry snitching on his former partner in court mcdonald's attorney a uh, walt Britt, was accusing that bon giovanni is one of the the set these events into motion when he hit the man just as hard as he could with his firearm Britt and bon giovanni simply used mcdonald's mcdonald as a scapegoat to cover for his own misconduct oh what to do about all the blue on blue crime ha ha anyway holland's lawsuit claims he suffered several uh burn marks to the face of his neck a busted lip severe swelling and bruising to most of his face which caused permanent scarring to his chin nose and lower lip according to 11 alive in a statement it says the traumatic and unjust ju unjustifiable abuse of being punched in the face tased kick in the face by sworn officers for no good reason in the middle of a busy public roadway in intersection and broad daylight has caused significant mental and emotional shock humiliation distress trauma and serious and ongoing physiological and emotional injuries which plaintiff plaintiff still experiences today the lawsuit states okay so that's what i got so far um in regards to that uh as always it's it's a shame you know people can say what they want to call it playing the race card but i'm pretty sure if you start suing and throwing these throwing these people these cornstarch crusaders okay in jail taking away their livelihood and their freedom then things would be very much different um to be honest with you on the up and up and this does not reflect any platform that i am on or reflect anybody else's opinions but my own but i mean when we gonna stop white knighting for these people when we gonna stop you know start holding them accountable for the things that they have done you know start making them atone for the mistakes quote unquote that they've done in a fit of rage or because they had a bad day or because they found out that their girlfriend was cheating on them or because they were under mental distress when you become a police officer as with any occupation that you may have in life that uh consists of you possibly risking life and limb like firefighters like emts there are many many other occupations in this world where people are sworn to protect or their their job aligns with protecting the public you don't have the right to abuse and publicly humiliate a person like that and it's not really going to stop until a couple of things happen some on the higher scale some on the lower scale but as we have seen in many of these court cases that have gone on when the person the, the black man or woman or child was actually uh lucky luckily enough to survive their ordeal with these uh cornstarch crusaders the only way to get back at them is to sue them so what do you do you know